Hello everybody, welcome back to another complete looters location guide here on Fallout 4. This is the series where I take you map by map on different locations around Fallout 4 and just show you guys everything you need to know about that certain spot. Uh, all de items, uh, rare gear, hard to find stuff, any unique rare weapons or armor or anything like that. So today we are going to be carrying on the guide and uh, we're going to be heading up Sanctuary Hills. Uh, now this place is obviously one of your first places you get to after leaving Vault 111. It's also uh, your main settlement area. There's loads of buildings and there's actually a lot of different things in here as well. Uh, so we're going to go break it down a little bit and I'll show you guys where all the best gear is in Sanctuary Hills. So before we start off and go around finding things, uh, it's also very worth noting that uh, there is a massive amount of uh, scrap in this place. Uh, all you've got to do to get this option up is to go to the workbench or uh, hold the button that will open the, uh, the crafting menu uh, and that will allow you to go around and not only make things and build things, it will also allow you to demolish certain things. So if you hover over anything on your uh, tab, and uh, it turns yellow you will get the option to scrap it so that is a huge amount of gear that can just be taken down from sanctuary you can go around and as you can see just there look you can scrap whole houses for uh, for different materials and items so uh, that's definitely worth noting before we go around picking anything up you can go around and clear all this and get yourself a lot of gear this will all be sent to your workbench uh, to be picked up if you want and then can be recycled and made into different things. So let the looting begin. We'll start off at the house opposite your house uh, which you owned at the start of the game before the, uh, the nuclear apocalypse happened uh, before you went into Vault 111. This is the uh, house with the workbench. It's also got a crafting station, uh, an armor station, things like that. So there's a typewriter right outside, uh, as well as a few other little bits like an oil can and stuff like that, as well as a makeshift battery. Now these things are really good, uh, rare items that will give you hard to find things like copper and things like that. If you also head into the weapons workbench, you'll find five bobby pins as well. I do recommend picking them up because it's uh, really hard to find stuff uh, but like bobby pins at the beginning of the game. Eventually you'll be overloaded with them. Also, if you go into the workbench, there's also a load of stuff as well which you'll have scrapped. Uh, as well as a used oil can in this room here and again another coffee pot right in there. Once again, rare, hard to find things like copper. In the suitcase in the back bedroom there's a bobby pin as well as a red dress as well which can be uh, picked up um, and worn if you so desire. Uh, that's about it for that house then, so let's move on to the next area. So, moving round anti-clockwise on the map, we'll come into this house here. Not a massive amount of loot in this house, a lot of scrap if you want to go around and scrap things. But in the bathroom, in the cabinet, there are seven bobby pins uh, that can be picked up, which is pretty handy. There's a plastic pumpkin in the uh, baby's crib, as well as a toy car and a rattle in uh, this baby's bedroom. Moving on into the next room, again not a massive amount of stuff in here, there is a uh, nice table lamp here that can be scrapped for some, uh, some rare-ish parts. Uh, there is a nice silver bowl in the dresser though, silver is quite hard to get hold of so make sure you grab hold of that. In this corner in the kitchen in the main room there is a pipe pistol as well, uh, so get yourself a nice uh, weapon, quite handy early on at this stage of the game. And uh, also there is a nice trifold American flag to pick up right there before you head on out of this building. Now the building across the road from that is pretty good for one reason and you'll see that later. But before uh, that head into the actual building and there's a cigar box in front of the telly as well as an ashtray to pick up. Then at the opposite side of the room on top of the cooker counter there is an extinguisher. There's also a load of random crappy stuff like beer bottles and dinner trays and stuff like that. Nothing too interesting. But there's a duct tape and screwdriver and a cap stash in this little uh, hallway cupboard kind of thing. Head into the bedroom at the far end for a fuse and some summer shorts in the dresser. Uh, and then turn around and head to the bedroom opposite that. And again there's some army fatigues in here so a bit of a peril to pick up. 
But that is really about it for this house. But what makes this house special is this thing right behind it. Now, a lot of people still do not know that this thing is here. It's a root cellar. And if you open that up, it will take you down into a, uh, a secret little area, which is absolutely crammed full of some of the best stuff you can get at the start of the game. There's meds in here like Radaway, the stim packs. There's just one, uh, at least one of every single type of food in here. Uh, there's gold bars as well. Gold's very hard to get hold of. So at the beginning of the game, this is really good for helping you craft stuff. Um, there's uh, ammunition. There's purified water. There's just absolutely everything that you could possibly need down here. So it's very handy to uh, to come down here. And again, people still, are, even in game, uh, just miss this because you just don't come looking around here um, too often. So if you don't know about this, don't be ashamed. It's quite easy to miss. Uh, but yeah, come down here and just load yourself up. Get the best start you can possible at the beginning of the game. Moving on to the next house then, this one right here, it's next door to where you uh, first lived in your first house. Uh, there are a couple of things to pick up in this uh, in this building, including a toaster, uh, some bubble gum on the counter, and if you head into the fridge, there's a Nuka-Cola in there and some pork and beans. Uh, so a bit of extra food for you right there. There's a load of bloke flies that spawn in here as well, so make sure you pick up the bloke fire meat, it's very handy at the start of the game. Uh, but apart from that, there's nothing amazing really uh, as you come through these rooms uh, too great to pick up until you get into this one right here. Uh, you'll see there's a sequin dress in the dresser, but there's also a safe in here. Uh, now this is only a novice lock picking safe. You can pick this up very early on in the game. And uh, as you can see, we've got those bobby pins uh, from a few locations earlier, which is pretty good. This thing's full of ammo, uh, a bit of money as well, and some meds. So very handy. Uh, to pick up and uh, that really is about it for this house right here so time to head to our old house you'll see this one right here this is where we came from in the beginning uh, and there's a couple of good things in this house really get the yellow table lamp off the table um, but that's not amazing for good loot but the first major thing in here is your copy of Grognak the Barbarian that is a magazine that can be picked up one of about nine I think it is of Grognak the Barbarian Pick this up, critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do 5% more damage, so that's pretty handy. Uh, again, load of other little junk to pick up, but it all helps. It can all be scrapped and all put into the, uh, the workshop to build things with. So the more you pick up, the better. Keep making your way through and uh, just looting all of the little stuff uh, until you head into uh, Sean's bedroom, actually, your child's bedroom. That's the uh, first major place, but just before you do, there is some Mr. Handy Fuel. Uh, and a gold plated flip lighter in this utility room right here but yeah as I was saying into Sean's room under the crib is a uh, a copy of the Your Special uh, magazine uh, which is a special little thing because if you click on it it will allow you to pick uh, an attribute to improve you'll get one skill point into one of your base stats so that's pretty handy uh, apart from that there's nothing really amazing in this uh, this place is just a load of uh, toy blocks wooden blocks board games uh, stuff like that so uh, if you want to keep uh, your inventory empty don't have to pick any of that up there's nothing really that decent right there uh, and that's really about it for your house uh, grognet the barbarian and your special magazine is really the key points uh, of things to find in the house so uh, once you've got them you can move on not a lot in the uh, house next to that really to talk about uh, apart from there is a, a gold plated flip lighter um, in a cabinet there's the coffee pot on the table as well as you can just see and the cap stash which is right here in the, that cardboard box right next to it but apart from that that is really all there is in the uh, house next to the one that we've just been in the house next to that is a slight improvement there are a couple of uh, pretty handy things in this small house so as you walk in on the right hand side there is a cigar you can pick up in this box right here open the fridge up and uh, there's some yum yum devil eggs and some nuka cherry as well nuka cherry is quite good actually it's a lot better than normal nuka cola there's also a oil can sat on the shelf right there if you head into the right hand side bedroom there's a suitcase you can unlock as well which will get you a checkered shirt and slacks a bit more extra apparel for you to wear there and behind you in the bathroom is a stim pack and some radix as well so uh, definitely an improvement on the last house head into the next in line house then for a load more loot that we can pick up 
So as you walk in, you can uh, pick up these kitchen scales right here in the kitchen. Head to the first room on the right and uh, you can get some caps and a ceramic bowl out of the washing machine. But uh, the main room you want to go in is this one right here. Because as you can see here, there's a makeshift bomb sat on a safe. Now disable that one before you do anything. And uh, you can unlock the safe either not by lock picking or by uh, using the terminal. They're both novice uh, rarities. So uh, it just depends if you like lock picking or... Uh, hacking better whichever way that will get you into the safe so uh, make sure uh, you choose one of those but disarm the bomb before you do uh, and in here there's a bit of ammo there's a pipe pistol some pre-war money a shotgun shell and uh, some silver pocket watch so uh, that's very handy as well silver's quite hard to get hold of so uh, the more of that you can get the better and the final thing is uh, in this room right here it's also worth mentioning there is a shot of medics that you can pick up right here medics can't be found too often so make sure you get that before you uh, head out but that's really all there is to know about this house here apart from I forgot to add in I'll add it in now there is a pipe pistol in this corner as well so uh, do apologize I missed that out on the uh, the original bit but uh, it's right in the room where we were just at uh, so make sure you grab that extra weapon to head out onto the road with. And now finally onto the very last house which is this one just by the bridge. First thing you'll notice when you get here is there is a cooking station situated here. You can move that to wherever you want where in the build menu though. But uh, that will cook all your food into different things. Uh, but yeah nothing really too noticeable in this house again. Uh, there's an empty milk bottle in the fridge and a TV dinner tray. There is some canned dog food on the side if you get really desperate for food. And some radix in the bathroom mirror as well. Also in this room just here, opposite, uh, there is some pre-war money in this dresser. Underneath the dresser there is a safe and there is a fishing rod to pick up just there as well. Now I came back and got the safe Never. after uh, not noticing it originally. And uh, unfortunately I don't have any body pins right here. It is advanced lock picking but if you're on PC you can obviously use the console command unlock to unlock the safe uh, if you want to do a bit of cheating but again this has got a 0.38 rounds uh, 10 mil pistol 10 mil rounds pre-war money and a silver tablespoon to pick up in there as well and that guys is it that is all there is to find in sanctuary hill so uh, this is a metal box which contains all of the stuff we've just picked up including all of the stuff that we've uh, scrapped as well uh, lying around in there there is absolutely loads of decent loot around here uh, loads of different scraps as well ready for to uh, to build things in so go ahead and put all the junk in your crafting bench and you will be able to use that to rebuild in your settlement uh, no noticeable things that we picked up load of new cola uh, load of rads all the food that we got uh, there's also the copy of grognak the barbarian as well as a load of different uh, random good starting weapons as well as that your special book as well which can be uh, used to get an extra skill point but uh, yeah definitely the most noticeable place uh, in this whole uh, sanctuary hills is definitely that root cellar that is probably the best place in this whole area because that will get you a load of decent stuff so without that this place would be pretty rubbish really but uh, yeah there you go guys that is a complete looters location guide uh, for sanctuary hills i'm going to go around now and uh, pick up all the rest of this scrap around here not including the ones that i've already got in the house as well there's loads of stuff you can actually uh, actually go around and scrap and get some more decent stuff as well but uh, yep for now that is everything you need to know about the area sanctuary hills thank you for watching f1 next episode i think we'll head down to the red rocket truck stop and take a closer look at that so be sure to look out for that anyway thank you for now i will see you guys in the next one